Hey there guys and welcome back to NIMBY Rails. Today I've decided to torture myself clearly because I'm going to work on Waverley Station in Edinburgh. <sighs> Needs to be done at some point, why not now? He says optimistically before he started. Really some curved platforms would be useful for this but they are not a thing yet. Although actually I've got plenty of space. There's no way I'd need more than a 400 meter platform. Although the crossovers in the middle uh, are about there. I could even between two 300 meter platforms, that would be great. It's going to be a little interesting. Uh, that's technically two separate stations at the moment, but we'll fix it. No need to worry. So out of one, double track into the other. And then we just smooth it out a bit. And try and make a crossover. The theory for this is we can actually use the two platforms separately, the two ends of the platform separately. Um, it would have been ideal for New Street as well, but New Street was en enough of a mess as it was to try and split all the platforms into two. And the platforms wouldn't, a lot of the trains need to straddle both halves, whereas at Edinburgh, at least there, like the trains aren't like to be straddling two halves of a platform. Um, okay, well, I mean that's a start. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at my map and thinking, I have no idea where I want to go from here. I think the best bet is going to be to quickly put the tunnels in. Um, obviously, I can't put them fully in. Also, just put that tunnel in as a bridge, just like you do. There we go, it's a tunnel now. Can't put them in fully because they immediately go into junctions at the end. But at least they're somewhat there now. So it looks like there's a single platform that runs up to. I mean, goodness knows. There? On the ground level. Who knows how long it is? Who knows exactly where it runs to? We'll go with that. Um, then there's two platforms with a siding between them. So one of them runs like... Well, we're going to need more of this actually, because we need to get a lot in this side of this road. So we've got a pair of platforms there. Then we've got a single platform there and a single platform alongside it with a track in the middle. And they're really far apart at the moment, but they won't be once I parent them all together. Pick parent there, and pick parent there. Sorted. And we sort of try and straighten them out a little bit, and we should have reasonably length stations. There we go. Then we've got some kind of offset platforms. So there's one running up there that starts quite a way out with these two. And then there's another one that starts a bit further in and runs up further back. Possibly even further than that. Uh, there's a pair that run all the way through by the looks of it. I'm just going to go back to my other map quickly. Yes, yeah, so they have a crossover in the middle that isn't marked an open railway map. I will be building it. Uh, probably want to start... Oh, is, have we not got double selected? There we go. Um, so we'll run them through to there, then we'll run another set out the other side. And we need it to sort of break at around the same place the first set broke, for about the same distance. It's now trying to run three stations. We will correct that shortly. That's, yeah, they're both 300 metres. We'll pull across, try and straighten out that track. 
put in the crossovers. It'll be very tight crossovers, but I don't know why I was going to actually use them. So. I gather they can be used in times of disruption to move a train out the way of another train and whatever, but it's one of those situations that's not really going to be happening in Nimby Rails. I have just realised that actually that is not a platform. That is just a normal line. Can I convert it from to not a station without having to completely rebuild it? The answer is no. Connect it there. Connect it up here. And then deal with this. Sorted. Um, there's a siding alongside it. So this is why, basically. It doesn't go that full length. It sort of goes to there. Um, and then a double island platform, and this is what will join most of the station together. As these run along the back, they don't have a gap in the middle. Nice long platforms. I'll probably shrink them down a little bit. So they run down the back. And then on the other side, island platforms. Not island platforms, bay platforms. Terminology. Get it right, Cam. What am I doing? I've got a double up there. Ish. It actually comes in that side of that little path. That's plenty long enough. Then a single there and a single there. Those are quite small short platforms, but I imagine there'll be um, the little stoppers to North Berwick and wherever. The little branch lines out this side of the station. Um, speaking of which, on this side, the, again, we dive into a tunnel. It is one tunnel there and one tunnel there by the looks of it, and they're both single tracks. Potentially, they're a bit more like that. Okay, now to connect out of the tunnels, I guess. So, how do we go over that road? We'll see. I think we'll go under. <laughs> For ease of construction. So, we come right out to the outside one. I think that's easiest. Towards the end, we've got a junction after that. Um, okay, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind about building order. So, we come out of here. We come along there and out to that one. There we go, I feel like that's better. We'll come off there and out to the outside one. And then there's another line off there that goes to that with a junction off to the siding. Finally, the last platform along here is accessed from in the tunnel. Out of the tunnel, come to there. I will... That does mean I can, I can make this a little neater by stretching that out. And I can pull that in a little bit to make it nice and straight. There we go. I also have a line off there which dives straight into a tunnel to come up to a set of points up here. Go figure. Um, that's technically meant to be out in the open, but... There's enough of a mess going on here that it's easy just to put it all in a tunnel. Then we have... I don't even know. I'm so lost. By the looks of it, we come out the top tunnel. 
I'm inclined to pull it down a little bit just so they're a little closer together. We go out the top tunnel and sweep up here to these two platforms. Uh, we come into both of them rather nicely. Then we have a junction out of the tunnel here that brings a line out of there with a junction off for its parallel platform and a line up here to both of these platforms. I'm trying to make the lines reasonably straight rather than S-bendy. Um, if you're confused by why I'm not ha not appearing happy with some of the layouts. There we go. I think that's that side done. Now to the western side. I will probably do one track at a time here. So, the outer track... All right. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these a bit closer. This track comes up and into there. It also has a junction off which then comes up and round into the outside one. Simple enough. The inside track, and this is where it gets a little confusing, comes into that platform. While the inside track of this one comes into the adjacent platform. Apparently. There's a junction off here which comes through to the bottom most of the triple. It also has a line across to this one, apparently. I knew Edinburgh was complicated, but this is really quite something. And there's a there's a set off here that crosses over there and there and out to that track. This comes off of there. This one off of here. There's all sorts going on here. Is that a double slip? I can't tell from this diagram. It is. I wouldn't have known from Open Railway Map, but Traxy tells me it is. So, we just put those in there, try and straighten that one out a little bit. I think that's that bit done. So then the southern tunnel comes out to there. Strictly speaking, the main line actually goes out to the bottom platform, but because of the way it makes doing points easier, I'm going to do them in that order. Then we have a line off of it to go to that platform, I think. No. To go to that platform. There's a subsequent line off of it to go to the adjacent platform. Then a line from here cuts across both to access that one. A line from here cuts across to there. Once again off here to 
access that platform, although there is also a crossover from that line. Which, I mean, that does make sense, at least. There's finally some sensible track planning. So there's a miracle, anything yet? I feel like they've just slapped some points in here and decided that it's good enough and they can try and work it out whenever they need to. Are those two double slips? Not quite. What we have is a single slip. And then the other one is a double slip. Which actually is a bit easier to build for me because I can't get two double slips in adjacent to each other. The points won't work for it. So, in that sense, that's useful. I can't really build double slips totally correctly. But there we go. I think that's the entire station. It's a big one. It's not quite as crammed in as New Street was. Birmingham New Street. That was a mess to build. It's only 16 minutes, but I might leave it there because that was enough work. <laughs> Just trying to get that done. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want more. And I'll catch you in the next one.